OHE Courage Award links brave freedom fighters in the world today to the examples set by the Greeks and they answered the Nazi demand for surrender with a defiant and courageous no. By creating the OHI Courage Award, they have found a way to give voice to the voiceless and hope to people fighting for freedom in some of the darkest corners of the world. There is no corner of the world today darker than North Korea. The fact that there is someone like Ji Sung Ho with so much courage, persistence, fearlessness, and hope conveys a powerful message that the North Korean regime, with all of its nuclear weapons and its brazen threats, will not survive the resistance of its own people. We are joined by one more witness to the ominous nature of this regime. His name is Mr. Ji Sung Ho. Today, he lives in Seoul, where he rescues other defectors and broadcasts into North Korea what the regime fears most, the truth. Your great sacrifice is an inspiration to us all. Please, thank you. Today, we honor James Foley with the 2014 OHI Day Award for his courage and his values in defense of peace, liberty, and freedom. As a frontline journalist, he took on the important job of shining a light on some of the darkest parts of the world. He was a voice for so many who had been silenced, and he fought always to bring us the truth. He represented hope in a time and place of so much despair. I think courage is hard to define. Um, I think we all want to be courageous and we think we might be, but you don't know until you are tested. His life challenges us. We can't let his death be in vain. His life is a model of what a 21st century citizen ought to be. And now it's our turn to model his story, to share it with others. You know, the thing is, is, there's physical courage, right? For some reason, I have physical courage. But really, think about it, that's nothing compared to moral courage. I can go and get those shots, but if I don't have the moral courage to challenge authority, we don't have journalism. We raise our children to admire that kind of bravery and that kind of courage. We raise them to be the Davids who battle our modern-day Goliaths. We teach them to try to be like Nadia, having every reason to withdraw from the world. You summon the courage to stand up and say, no, no. On behalf of all the women of my life and all the women in this country who endured hardship, thank you for giving them courage. When I told ISIS no, they threatened me, and who knows, maybe I will pay the price of that. But by refusing them, I found humanity in myself. Maria Ressa. When you see her, you'll see that she's a Filipino journalist who stands at five foot two, but she stands taller than so many of us in her courage and personal sacrifice to the cause of telling the truth. She is fearlessly taking on a regime that is leveraging every angle to taunt, tear apart, and terrify her. She is a light in the darkest moments. She has a nearly incomprehensible fearlessness in the face of almost constant death threats. What gives you the courage to keep taking him on? We shouldn't allow harassment, intimidation, and the fear of that stop you from doing your job. You must fight for your rights while you still can. 
she has the courage to take on corruption and the determination to expose the truth. To me, Maria Ressa is quite simply a superhero.